Hi everyone. We're going to graph two cycles of three sine waves. These are the three uh, cosine, I mean sine functions, and we're going to quickly graph these. You should have watched the video prior to this, where I go a little slower. Our new center line for these is this part here, so that would be y equals two, y equals negative two, y equals negative one. Recall that's the vertical shift. The amplitude is this number out front. Recall it's really the radius. So our amplitude is 2, 3, and 3. The phase shift is the part of the argument that the argument is in this area. And what you do is you take the opposite of this. If this was negative, make it positive. And you do right over left. So since there's a 1 here, we're going to do pi over 2 over 1. So we're going to shift to the right by pi over 2. In the second one, it's going to be to the left. That's positive. So it's going to be negative pi over 2. And then for the last one, it's going to be pi over 4. Oops, pi over 4. All right, and then since that's negative, so I'm going to make this positive. And the last thing we have to do is the period. All the periods here are 2 pi. The period is 2 pi over b. My b is 1 in all of these. So 2 pi over 1 is 2 pi. And we're going to graph two cycles, and we're going to go pretty quickly. So you're welcome to pause, or if you want to write down the equation we're working on, you can do that. All right, so for the first one, we're going to graph um, y, um, f of x equals 2 sine of x minus pi over 2 plus 2. So the first thing we have to do is the new center line is 2. So our normal center line is y equals 0. So my new center line is um, y equals 2. So I'm going to draw that. So this is y equals 2. All right, my phase shift, or my I have, next thing I'm going to do is draw the amplitude from my center line. So from here, I'm going to draw my amplitude, which from here is up to, so I'm going to draw a little box here. And when I'm going up to, this is y equals 4. And when I go down to, I'm back to y equals 0. This kind of gives me my framework of what I'm going to be drawing. My um, phase shift is pi over 2. So we're going to start here. So I did a translation of axis. I shifted the y-axis up by um, 2, and I shifted it to the right by pi over 2. Now my period is 2 pi. Since we're starting at pi over 2, I'm going to go a distance, and I'll do it down here, of 2 pi. Since we're starting in, we have to end further out. So this is really pi over 2 plus 4 pi over 2, and that's 5 pi over 2. So that's where we're going to end. So I'm going to make it down here. Uh, I never can get this just right. But anyway, so this is going to be 5 pi over 2. Okay, the midpoint between these two would be 3 pi over 2. And the midpoint here is 2 pi over 2. I'm not even going to reduce it. 4 pi over 2. You can reduce it, but um, you can see the pattern better if you do it this way. Now we're drawing sine, so I'm just going to draw the um, characteristic curve. So for sine, remember the characteristic curve is something like that. And that's all you're going to draw. So we're going to draw sine. I'm going to put my dot, 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 dot. So there we go. And I have my first cycle. Now to get my second cycle, I'm going to go backwards. So what I'm going to do is take uh, subtract 2 pi. So I'm going to subtract here. And I'm going to subtract here. And I'm going to get, when I subtract those, is negative 3 pi over 2. So I'm going to go backwards and go negative 3 pi over 2. This would be 0. 
and negative 2 pi over 2. And, oh no, 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 negative pi over 2. So it's negative pi over 2. Negative 2 pi over 2. And negative 3 pi over 2. All right. Then you draw the district characteristic curve. We're going to go down here, back up, up to my little boxy area, and back down. And there's your two cycles of the sine wave, labeled and everything. I drew within um, this area. Okay. The next one we're going to do is... Um, uh, which one is it? Okay, so we're going to draw uh, y, uh, f of x, equals 3 times sine of x plus pi over 2 minus 2. So the first thing I'm going to draw is my new center line, is which is y equals negative 2. All right, my amplitude was 3. So from here, I'm going to go up 3, draw the line. That would be y equals 1, because we started at 0 here. And go down 3, 1, 2, 3. So this would be y equals negative 5. So that's the area of my height that I'm going to draw the sine wave. Now my... Uh, Phase shift is negative pi over 2 that we saw from the first page. So I'm going to go backwards, about negative pi over 2. So this would be negative pi over 2. Now for um, my period is 2 pi, so I'm going to take negative pi over 2 and add 2 pi, which is really 4 pi over 2, and we're going to end at 3 pi over 2. So this is going to be 0. Um, let me go back to here. This is pi over 2. Let me try to make it more proportional now that I have graph paper. Okay, this is pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2. You basically need three, five key points to draw your characteristic curve. So we're just going to draw a dot. Dot, let me do it in red. Dot, 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 dot. Remember, you're just drawing sign like this. You have everything labeled. And there's your first cycle. Now I'm going to go backwards, and all I'm going to do, just like when we did uh, co-terminal angles, getting positive and negative, we're going to subtract. And that's going to leave us... Um, negative 5 pi over 2. So we're going to continue on um, 2 pi radians this way. I'm going to kind of leave some room here. This is negative uh, 2 pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, negative 4 pi over 2, and negative 5 pi over 2. Once you know where we're ending, then all you have to do is draw your character. You can continue down, back up, back up, and back. And there is your um, two cycles. Okay, the last one we're going to do is um, three sine. I'm just going to use y. 3 times sine of x minus pi over 4 minus 2. So our shift is down by 2, which is y equals 2. From here, I'm going to add my amplitude, which is 5. I mean 3, so we're going to go up 3. It's kind of just like the other one. So this is going to be y equals 1. And this is negative 2. And we're going to go down 3, which is y equals negative 5. Okay, this is uh, negative 2. 
Now my phase shift is pi over 4, so I'm going to draw pi over 4 here and write pi over 4. Now I proceed at, why do I do that? I write things down when I say in the opposite. Okay, pi over 4. My period is 2 pi, so I'm going to take pi over 4 and add 2 pi which is eight, actually 8 pi over 4. That's going to give me 9 pi over 4. And that's where I'm going to end. So I'm going to draw a line here with the green down here. And we're ending at 9 pi over 4. I take midpoints. And all you do is you say um, this is like 1 pi over 4. So 1 plus 9 over 2, so that equals 10 over 2, which is 5. So my midpoint is 5 pi over 4, it's 5. And we know that the midpoint between those two is 3 pi over 4, and this would be 7 pi over 4. We're drawing sine, so I start with, I'm just going to draw the dot. It's really a point, but I call it a dot, 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 dot. And there's your characteristic curve, and you have everything labeled. To go the other way, we're going to write minus. So we're going to end up at negative 7 pi over 4. And all you're going to do is, uh, we're going by pi's over 4, so we're going to get 2, 4. So subtract, we're going to get negative pi over 4 negative 3 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, and negative 7 pi over 4. Okay, so we're going to draw from here 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here you go. So this one didn't go through the origin. And it kind of looks funny because I have this side spread out a little too much. But basically, that's your two cycles. Okay, the next one uh, video is going to be the same type thing with cosine, three cosine waves.